So in today's session, what we're going to be looking at is using charcoal, but working from the interior. So we're going to be using a reductive and additive way. So all you're going to need is charcoal, rubber, if you've got one, a charcoal pencil. Before we get started, what I want us to do is cover our paper with charcoal. Okay, so we've got our paper ready. I've selected this view here. One of the things that I like with interiors is that selecting views where you look through into another space sort of promotes that um, journey through a space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up um, just with a with a chair. I've got my got my paper and my board, um, and then I'm going to work direct from observation. So this is, this is the exact view that I've got. So instantly what we can see is that this is the lightest tone here and the darkest tone uh, could potentially be this area here or this area here. And then everything else is going to be a mid-tone. What we've got here also is some quite simple perspective lines going on here. So the cupboards on the left-hand side, for instance, um, in between them, there are tiles. This is my eye line, and my eye line, this outline you can see is completely horizontal. Okay, now as it goes above my eye line, it changes angle to this, so it slants down to the right. As it goes further above my eye line, we get to the we get to the cupboard there, and it's a little bit more angled. As it keeps on going up and up and up and up, you can see the boiler there in the background is even steeper. So it's everything above my eye line will go like this. Everything below my eye line will go like this. And it's the same on the other side. You can see, you can see for instance, the lines here the, where the tiles are. Eye line, that's my eye line. The ceiling goes like this. Everything below this line will start to bend. Then it will bend, it will bend, it will bend like that. In position, we've got our page slightly tipped up like we usually do, and we're in front of our subject. Nice mid-toned page here, and I can start drawing just straight in light with the rubber. We want to start in one place, and we want to work out. I can hold my window here. Remember, we're drawing sight size, so it's the size that we can see the subject. The shelf there, then we've got the kitchen counter there, which goes along there. So with this technique, what we're doing is we can take away, but we can also add. I'm going to start adding now. I mean, charcoal is a is a nice medium to use because it's quite it's quite quick. You can quickly lay areas of tone down, and you can quickly take away areas of tone. So it's a very forgiving material. Just block a bit of that in. Now, what you might want to do when you're when you're trying to sort out your tone. Um, is just squint your eyes, just half shut your eyes a little bit. And what that does is that it just takes away any extraneous light coming in and it just focuses you on what you're looking at. And it just flattens the tone out a little bit and you can see it a little bit clearer. Not so much I'm drawing the what I know the objects to be, looking at the shape and the tone. So remember we can we can project our horizontals and we can um, you know drop our verticals as well. So remember what I'm doing is I'm trying to compare this tone to this tone, to this tone. It's not quite right yet. 
incredibly dark on this this side here side of the fridge is right there now it goes that's how high it is if you remember our perspective this line is going up because it's above my eye line okay as the bottom the bottom of the fridge will be the opposite angle because it's below my eye line but at the top it goes like that lock that in cupboards here so that angle goes this way the line of this cupboard where does that start so that starts that's where it are. that starts just to the right hand side that is maybe a little bit that looks about right to me this line of the floor is going to the right slightly more angled so this will go a lot straighter like that vertical line there it goes the other way now because it's gone it's gone to the left this line is going to be it's not going to be parallel to this it's going to be ever so slightly more horizontal just right on the edge of the counter I want all of the work to be at the same stage rather than one thing being you know beautifully sort of like shaded we're working the whole we're working the general and then we can um, work back to the particular okay I just want to suggest a little bit of texture through the window there with uh, some of the foliage. Okay, that line goes, that one is flat. Okay, I'm just evening out some of the tone. couple of those shapes on of the plant on top of my fridge there just to give a bit more interest to the top right hand side and I think and I think that will do so here you have a quick charcoal drawing looking at the interior in this instance looking through my kitchen into my garden here, paying particular attention to light and dark and all of those mid-tones in between and then working in a reductive and an additive way. See you next time.